Hi, so this is a pattern review on Pattern Emporium's Walk Boldly Wide Leg Pants. And I love this pattern. Like, I had to do a review on it because I'm wearing it today. I wore these pants to work and they were like literally secret pajamas. I felt so comfortable all day and I'm wearing my sample or toile, I guess as you call it. And I'm just, I was so pleased with these pants. Um, I'm probably going to wear these tomorrow because I'm so happy. And yeah, I just wanted to show some of the features, especially for a petite person. I'm 5'1". Pants are like tricky for me, even just buying it in the store. Pretty much all my long pants, I have to get hemmed anyway. So just being able to sew my own pants and actually sewing super comfortable pants is like mind blowing to me because I've never been like a really like pants sewing kind of person i don't know it seemed boring to me but now that i found like good patterns like tried and true patterns i am so excited and i can't wait to get more material so i started my journey on looking for wide leg pant patterns because where i work there's like a lot of kids or like teenagers and i guess wide leg pants are like all the rage now <laughs> and yeah like jeans and just regular linen or fabric pants they're all into that and just seeing it all the time made me want to wear some or buy some and so i thought okay they look simple enough to make myself so i will try and so i was looking for a woven material pattern and a knit pattern so i did find another a knit one too i guess i'll do another review on that because i'm super happy with that one too that one required a little bit more alterations but this one it was like right off the bat good uh this is probably like the fourth pattern i bought from pattern emporium it is a pdf pattern kind of company from australia and the lady on that makes the patterns does youtube videos showcasing the pattern and they don't really do much tutorials so if you want a tutorial i can do that i've only made the jeans pocket view there's like a bunch of different pocket options which i love and yeah this one has like a lot of options which i think their patterns the pattern emporium ones they do such a good job on giving you options like options for different waistbands if it's pants different pockets and if it's tops they do different sleeve lengths and they can be interchanged too so i think this is a really good pattern company to like not stick with but if you do buy some it may be worthwhile to buy other ones because you can mix and match and they kind of go in interchangeably. I think more for the tops and dresses, not really the, for the pants, but. but yeah, the only thing I didn't like initially was the sizing, but that's just, just because I'm used to US sizing. This is an Australian sizing and they do give out US sizing too. And everything is by, they have like the finished garment measurements and also by your measurements. I find I always have to go down with wovens. With knits, I kind of stay true to the size given pattern twice already. And one in a really stretchy, I'll just show you. <laughs> Sorry, this is like the leg of my pants. <laughs> but a really stretchy, almost see-through, but when I wear it, it's not see-through. Kind of knit fabric. It's like a polyester, I don't know. This is a, just a kind of a cheap fabric just because... It was my um, sample to try out the pattern. This, I did spend a little bit more money on the fabric. It's like a stretch jean material, which makes these pants extra comfy, but they still look like, you know, trouser jean material. So I tried it with, yeah, a really stretchy fabric. And also, uh, this one is stretchy, but it's not like as stretchy. Like this is the stretch. They do talk about stretch and how it works in the pattern also, but this one is just somewhat stretchy. It's not the same thing as like a, a jersey knit or anything, but it worked for both. I made the size six and I don't want to show the whole pattern, but I did want to kind of showcase like the different pocket styles. So I stuck with the jean style because that's what I know and I do like it. It has like a really nice clean front. In the pair that I'm wearing now, I did not do the um, the fake fly. On the jeans one, I did. And I guess I can show you now. This is what it looked like. I was going to use contrasting um, thread, but 
for more trouser look i decided not to just because it was only this uh thread that was doing the contrast so it wasn't like you know stuff on the top so it was just here i didn't really want to highlight right there and the hem but i did use this really great Gooderman jean thread so these are jean top stitching thread and this was so good like i didn't realize it was so much thicker than regular thread but it is and it really i mean you can't really see it on this dark blue it'll be kind of hard to see but yeah the quality of it is so good it's a lot thicker so i use it for the top i for the bobbin i just i use the thread too so i guess it's an extra strong thread which is good also for the hems especially if you might step on them or you know like for your jeans they get scuffed up too so this was a really good set because it has all the different kind of jean colors like before i sewed jeans i didn't really know why you needed contrasting thread i don't know i didn't really think about the thread color but like for this pair that i'm going to upcycle yeah the thread is like a grayish color so it, it was like perfectly like this color and i could also go this color this color would be more like the levi's contrast i noticed they use more of a, a bolder or coppery contrast thread and also like i would use this thread whereas for this project i used the darker blue thread so just a really i bought this on amazon i was super happy i love gunnerman thread i always use the white and the black but i never tried their top stitching and i was yeah glad i bought this there was another set too but it didn't have all the colors so i don't know if you're gonna buy one set of that you probably should just get the one with all the different blues and contrast anyways i digress <laughs> so i did the jean style pants which was super easy and super easy to do the pockets were amazing and comfortable there's also the cargo the welt pocket uh the back has pleats for like contouring which I thought would be a hassle but really it wasn't and i think it added so much to the pants uh that also comes with the patch pockets if you want or the well pockets and i didn't do it on my black one because it was my sample and i just wanted to finish and try it on this one i also didn't do it on just because i did i don't know it looked better with it not there for this pants but yeah i'll go ahead and try it on also what i liked about this pattern is it came in length size sizes so there was small or short, regular, and tall. Obviously, I went with short, and it was so nice to not have to alter the pattern. It just was good. Usually, I always, ha always have to cut off like two inches of the pattern, but it was already done for me, and so hemming it was super easy. It was just one less thing for me to have to worry about or worry I'm wasting material because I have to cut off like four inches off the end. So... It was really nice and I still was able to do like the one inch plus half an inch turn under kind of hem. So I didn't really iron this one. I don't want to take out the iron, but I will try them both on for you. Okay, so here's the stretch denim ones and they're so comfortable, like so easy to bend down and walk in. And sorry, I did not properly iron them after I washed them. I did have to wash them twice because they're so dark and they were like, Kind of leaving you know like blue on my hands it's actually kind of leaving a little bit of a stain now and that's just the nature of the dark denim i guess these are the pockets and the fake fly you can't really totally see maybe when the color starts i guess fading a little bit it, you'll be able to see it the waistband is super comfortable like perfectly um size i guess so it's not really stretching but just tight enough and that's why i didn't go down to the floor even though i probably could for a like a slightly you know i don't know better fit but you know i don't want it to be too tight either so this is the length i noticed the jeans when i washed it again the twice the second time they may have shrunk a little bit so it's a little bit higher than i initially wanted but i don't know that's fine for me if anything i can like 
pull it down a little bit and it'll be lower. Yeah, super comfortable. I guess I could have put the pockets on um, if I wanted to. I just, yeah, I don't know. I kind of liked it plain. It does have the pleating, if you can see a little bit better. And the pleating really helps make it, even though it's a wide leg, it kind of like cinches you in a little bit here. Like really keeps in like, not your belly, but kind of, especially with this type of stronger stretch. Um, I feel it like not cinching in, but a little bit, and it feels really comfortable like that. Plus the elastic waistband, the fat elastic waistband. You know, I don't know if initially the pattern called for one and a half inch elastic. It may have, and I only had two inch wide elastic. So I may have just widened that waistband a little bit to accommodate that. I'll have to check. But yeah, I do like the two inch. It is really good. But I mean, one and a half would have been fine too. I just, yeah, I just like the a thicker supportive waistband to keep everything all in. But these are so comfortable. I'm probably gonna wear these tomorrow. Tried and true wide pant for knit fabric pattern. For me, for US company pattern makers, I guess, I always go down one size for a woven because I'm petite, I guess. Um, but for knit fabrics, I always go by the finished garment measurements. And that way you can, you know, also choose what type of ease you want. I don't like too much ease in my clothing usually. So yeah, if it's bigger, I'll go down, down a size. Just, I don't know, just the FYI, because I had a hard time figuring that out. It took many, many samples or twalls and things not coming out right to figure that out. So hopefully that works for you too, if you're petite and trying to find the right size sewing patterns. But yeah, hope you guys try this one and I'll see you in my next video.